what is up guys pie muffin here and we are back with some more trails through daybreak last time we started our in the little investigation here in Crail village trying to find out what happened to fairy's friend and her group and we learned that it seems like they are still somewhat in the area because there have been eyewitnesses seeing aida uh, in and out of town over the last few days. So they have to be somewhere nearby. So we're gonna take to the highway and, uh, take a look. The thief! He stole my bike, the bastard! Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay, just... This guy came walking up to me right now. Middle-aged, but I couldn't really catch his face. He muttered something about needing to get away in a hurry, and then he just nicked my bike. Son of a... It's more than a bike to me. He's gonna pay for this. That's just incorrigible. Van, we should give chase. But wait, wouldn't this count as a job? Do you need to get an agreement first? Normally, this be police work, normally. But who knows how long their response time might be. We're right here, and they're not. Yo, got a sec? We're a group called Arkride Solutions. I can get your bike back for a price. Er, what kind of price? Ooh, you're the ones who saved the bus from those monsters, aren't you? Then yes, please, I'll hire you. That bike means the world to me. We've crisscrossed the whole country together on my fishing trips. Oh, maybe he's friends with the... Oh, God, what's his name? Man, it's been... Obviously, I haven't played Trails as, like, a series in a while. Not Nathan. Not Anton. Anton's the guy who, we assume, got together with Sharon. Oh, God, what was... The the guy from the fishing club in uh, at Thor's. God, I I'm gonna give up and look it up. Kenneth, that was his name. Yeah, Kenneth and Annabelle, the those two. If you can catch up to him and get it back, then I'll I'll pay you whatever you want. I don't have much, but I won't have anything without my bike. Let's then. Well, ha, heh. Well, it's thinking about scouring the highway anyway. Convenient little excuse we've got here. Let's hit the road. Gang, might still be able to catch him on foot. Okay, let's be off. Well, so it's a bicycle, it's not a motorcycle. I forgot this part of the game where we actually get to leave the village. The road is surrounded by so many, so much natural beauty. The air is so crisp and fresh. It's too bad the monsters here and there are spoiling such lovely scenery. On the plus side, they don't seem as riled up as they did when they attacked that bus. As long as we don't go out of our way to provoke them, I don't think they'll be a problem. I agree. Just be aware it could change at any moment. I don't think enough time's passed with the bus incident for us to let our guards down here. Stay alert. We will. Like, Van's not a bad guy, but obviously he does need to make a living, so. I guess we can check the fields over here. Oh my god. Why are we having so much trouble hitting this damn bug? Oh man, these roads are full of monsters. Oh 
Another level up for Agnes. There we go. Okay, there is a chest over here. Just trying to get some of these guys out of the way. Get some decent XP along the way. Oh, they are far away. May as well uh, cast something here. There we go. You think this is the man's stolen bicycle? That's what I'd put my money on. It sure wasn't here when we passed it in the truck. Looks to be partially damaged, unfortunately. But at least we can recover it for him. Now I'm just curious what happened to the man who stole it. Yeah, the owner told us the thief he mentioned needed needing to run away from something, didn't he? Then why would he just discard it here? I'm guessing that something happened that they weren't counting on. might be a peaceful area, but there's still monsters around. It ain't hard to guess what could have happened. That sounded like a wolf howling. I can sense a bunch of monsters around a single point a little ways away. Do you think the bicycle thief is under attack? Could be. Well, let's get a move on the direction we heard the howl from. I think we need to speak to the thief before we can call this case closed. Let's hurry. I don't know if we should leave the bike in the middle of the road, though. Oh, well. Well, this is some mess. It looks like they're fighting over who gets to eat him. What? Who are you? Oh, like I care who you are. Just help me, please. They came at me all of a sudden. They're going to have me for... Keep your voice down and just provoke them. Eek. Are you okay? Not more wolves. Is there 
There's something off about him. Half of the wolves just ran away. Looks like the other half aren't going to back down easily, though. Something's really got them in a frenzy. And just look how red their eyes are. I want to know what's happened to make them this way, but they aren't going to wait for us to find out. At least we don't have to deal with as many of them as I thought. Let's do this. What's behind me? Oh, light pole. Knock him right down. And now we wrap this up. Phew, that takes care of them. Um, I apologize if I'm wrong, but did you recently steal a bicycle? If you did, we'd like to ask you a few questions. Yeah, that's me. Go ahead. I'm not going to try and fight you. That looked like an odd-looking wolf. What was that? Between the wolves that attacked the bus and the ones we just had to fight, something's definitely not right here. It's like they're being controlled by fear somehow. But I can't... I just can't put my finger on it. Are you alright, Van? We still haven't questioned our suspect. Yeah, all right. We're Arkwright Solutions. We're here on behalf of the guy who had his bike stolen. We managed to recover it, but I don't think... Just getting that back is going to satisfy our client. Why'd you steal it at all? Come on, fess up. What? Don't play dumb with me. There's no way you're here on behalf of that guy. You came to Crail to shake some mirror out of me, didn't you? What are you talking about? You know him, Van? Nope, never even met him before. What's going on? Well, what? That's what I want to know. Then you're not a debt collector from the companies I owe money to? Really? Nope, we're Arkwright Solutions, like I just said. I'm not going to say we never do debt collection work, but we haven't been at to come for you, that's for sure. Oh, Eidos, what a relief. I did all that for nothing. So the reason you saw that bicycle was because you assumed Van was a debt collector and wanted to run away from him? Yeah, I borrowed a lot of money from a bunch of different places over the years. It's gotten to the point where I'm too deep to get out. So I figured my only hope was to flee abroad. That's how I ended up on that bus. But I saw you as soon as we arrived in Krill, and I could tell you were a pro. I was convinced you had to be someone who'd come to collect my debts. After that, I was just looking for an opportunity to flee as far away as possible. And when that opportunity presented itself, you stole some guy's bike and rode off, only to be surrounded by monsters immediately after. Well, I'm glad we were able to clear up that misunderstanding between us. How about we go back to the village for now, then? There's no guarantee that more monsters won't come for us. And we need to return that bicycle to its owner. I think that's a good idea. Don't try and run away from us again, you hear? I won't. I doubt I could escape from you guys even if I wanted to. Then off we go. Yeah, I'm sure Fairy by herself could handle this guy. If he tried to do anything. So I assume we're just supposed to pretend like we're holding the bike. Like one of us is carrying it. Oh, a new chest? Okay. Oh, wow, the monsters are really all spread out. Okay. Oh, 
I do wonder what they're gonna do. Like, obviously, every arc has kind of its own, like, unique things that they sometimes don't bring back. So, like, for example, all the these new Zifa orbments have these AI voices. And I feel like the main point of that is because Van obviously has a very unique one that we saw, you know, came to life when he first awakened the Grendel. So, I'm wondering if after this arc and Van is no longer the main character, if Orbins are going to change again, or are we always just going to have AI-based uh, uh, Orbins moving forward? Hey, is everyone all right? Kyle, didn't expect you to leave the village. You really were sweating over that bike, huh? Though I'd be the same if it was my truck, so I can't say I don't get how you feel. I think that about sums up all that happened. Your bicycle is now officially back in your hands, even if it is a little worse for wear. Phew, thank you so much. I'm just happy to have it back. I'm glad we were able to help you. Oh, right. I need to ask about how much you charge. I hope I've got enough to cover your costs. If it'll cost more than about 20,000 mir, I might need to pay in installments. We don't charge anywhere near that. We're not here to rip you off, you know? We're a little more expensive than the Bracer Guild, but we only charge for time spent and necessary expenses. Really? What a relief. You're clearly really good at what you do, so I thought you'd charge an arm and a leg. I'll make sure to wire you the money later, then. Right. Then it's time to talk about what to do about our friend here. How do you want us to handle this? If you've got any requests, we're all ears. I really am sorry for stealing you. It was all just a stupid misunderstanding on my part. I know. How about I pay these guys in your place? It might take me a while to gather the money, though. So please, give a guy a break. Mm, well, if he means what he says, my heart says to forgive him. Feels like he shouldn't get off almost completely scot-free after stealing someone's property, though. Hmm. You don't have any good ideas on what to do in a situation like this, do you? Oh, no. Hmm, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I know how we'd handle this as warriors, but I know it's not the same here. You'd kill him! How about we have him sign some kind of le legally binding document? I suspect there's an even better way of handling this, though. We're dealing with a guy who's already on the run from his debts. If we go soft on him, he's not going to take this seriously. One option is to just hand him into the authorities and do this by the book. Kind of bugs me to leave the client's bike damaged, too. That's not fair on him at all. Maybe we could have the thief work it off in town, but yeah. Yeah, I'd say put him to work. Normally, I'd say we should hand him over to the authorities. But how does making him pay for his bike's repair sound to you? You know I don't have that kind of mirror, right? Or any at all, for that matter. Sure, that's why you'll be working in the village to earn it. What? That does sound good. That way he'll have time to reflect on what he did, and I won't have to shell out Mira for repairs. But I feel like I'll be causing people, uh, causing trouble for the people here with this solution. I'll help smooth things over with them, don't worry. Oh, and don't even think of using this as a chance to escape, buddy. If you try that, I'll contact the cops or those debt collectors you got, and you'll never be able to go out in public again. Gah. Uh, I guess this is how old things gotta be. Man, I never should have stolen that bike. You should have never taken on all those debts and run away, either. We should make our way back to the village now, then. Hey, you guys. Oh, did you have business outside the village? Yeah, but we got it all wrapped up now. How's the bus holding up? Well, it's nothing that can't be fixed, but it'll take us the rest of the day to get up and running again. Thankfully, my supervisors were understanding. They said we can head back tomorrow morning. Still, I'm sorry about the whole situation. You said you were headed to some country called Remy Feria, right? Yeah, and it's not exactly a stone's throw away from here. And I really don't want to make the trip at night, so we had to make lodging arrangements for all the passengers. Oh, really? How'd you work that out? I didn't think the inn had enough rooms for everyone. We actually have a village hall where people can stay in an emergency. I'm letting the passengers stay there tonight free of charge. That's really nice of you. I'm sure they're all breathing a sigh of relief. Yeah, we owe it to them big time, and our company isn't about to let the debt go unpaid. Speaking of which, they also agreed to pay you too. They'll wire the mirror to you soon. Heck, they may have already done it by now. Nice. Appreciate the business, my man. If you ever find yourself in our jam, just give us a ring. 
Oh yeah, there was something else I wanted to run by you. Hmm? And what might that be? Van informed the mayor about the bicycle theft. Thrilled to have an extra pair of working hands, the mayor accepted and went with them to speak with the inn's owner, Ben, about employing Nathan there. Ben was all too happy to approve the plan, and thus Nathan began his stint as a janitor, where he would do menial chores for many weeks to come. <laughs> All right, we're making headway in our investigation. We now know for sure that Aida was here three days ago. Not only that, but she was also spotted the following day. We also learned that monsters around here are acting strange. Yeah, don't know what to make of that yet. I feel like that puzzle, the puzzle pieces are coming together, but we're still a few short of the full picture. We'll worry about more of that later though. It's about time we head back to the end. What? We're staying here? There's no way Aida is still in the village. Shouldn't we be out there looking for her? Not tonight. There's no telling where she might have gone, and I'm not about to go on a wild goose chase. She could be in Remifaria, Orid, Dorn Highlands. The list goes on. Besides, I'm catching a whiff of something, and it ain't the galettes. Something smells fishy here. What do you mean exactly? Are you talking about the monsters? Well, yeah, they're part of it too. Anyway, you gotta be prepared to head back to the capital tomorrow, Agnes, with or without us. Yes, I know. I'll take a look at the bus schedule soon. But first, we should check in at the inn. Good idea. The passengers aren't staying there, so you should have an open room or two. Well, here we are. I'm sorry we didn't have more than one room for you all. Oh no, that's on us. We should have thought to book her two rooms in advance. Those beds look super comfy. It's like they're inviting me to climb in, curl up, and conk out. We're thinking about eating at around 7. I'll have one of those sweet galettes. Hey, coming right up. I'll be sure you get the finest we have. In the meantime, please make yourselves comfortable. Um, it's not like we had no other choice besides fairies here too. So it's going to be fine. Yes, totally fine. Uh-huh. Uh, you okay, Agnes? You feeling a little under the weather? She's just nervous about sharing a room with a grown gentleman like yourself, man. No, I'm perfectly fine. Never been better. Anyway, the plan was to gather a bit more information before dinner, right? There's no time to waste. Let's drop our luggage here and get back to work. What luggage? Oh, okay. Should we start with the old guy at the general store? Sure. Sounds good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we can, uh, if you want to get your rewards immediately, you can just come over here and do this. It even includes the stuff we did in the city already. As <laughs> well rest to get our health back. Well, let's keep moving. We ain't done yet. Looks like we got some more jobs to do. So yeah, we're only here for today and tomorrow, so it makes it, I mean, that's why they were talking about Agnes needs to make sure she's back for school. We'll check in about it here in a minute. Once Nathan's earned his next check, he'll wire the cost to my account. Makes me feel a little better knowing I don't have to pay that out of pocket. Thanks a million. It's okay, Annie. I know La Lakshkar will find him. He's gotta. I know, I just... Sounds like they've got some trouble on their hands. I feel for him, but we don't have the time to spare. We need to sort out our own business first. Let's see if we can help him after we're done. Okay, I guess we're not allowed to do that yet. Excuse me, um, can we ask you about something? Do you remember any of those Jaegers buying supplies from you when they came into town ten days ago? I do, in fact. It was the week before last. A whole band of them came in and bought all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. 
Then their leader came by. She was a real beaut. Now that you mention it, I remember seeing a woman of that description. A woman of that description? She was a real beaut? How was that a description? <laughs> when I came back from a delivery run. That was three days ago, I want to say. Right up towards closing time. Really, what did she buy? If we know what she bought, we might be able to find a motive. Now, what did I get for her? If I remember, I... What was it? I can see your pretty little face, but what did she... Er, uh, Gramps, don't you have your ledger? The record should be in there. Oh, yes, of course. Let me check it for you. Um, ah. Oh, blasted. It's just too small for these old eyes. Man's on the wrong side of retirement age. You're the one who wrote it for crying out loud. I'll read it. Okay, so the group from 10 days ago, there wasn't anything out of the ordinary in there. Just your run-of-the-mill supplies. But the captain, it says she bought wire. Lots of it. Huh. Camp foundry, maybe? Battle lines? Why would she go out of her way to buy wire in the middle of a retreat, though? And this was during her first stop at the village, not the second. Yeah, that might be important. One more question for you. Did you buy anything else? Rations, ammo, stuff like that? Uh, nope, just the wire. Nothing, huh? Thanks for the info. This will help a lot. Give Victor my best, yeah? So they didn't buy... They weren't restocking to continue fending anyone off. So why would they need wire? Like, it, Van's first thing was saying, like, okay, maybe they were buying stuff for, like, setting up camp. Maybe the wire's for, like, tents and stuff, but... Okay, so I guess we're not allowed to do any of this side stuff until we see what that whistling is about. Oh, this is the guy we saw on the bus. Not long, we're sorry if we disturbed you. We were just entranced by your song. I feel like I've heard that melody somewhere before. Yeah, your voice is so soothing. Are you like a master musician or something? <laughs> he seems friendly enough. Oh, you were on that bus? Obviously not a generic NPC because he wouldn't be voiced otherwise. Melchior the Traveler. Well, we do meet a lot of NPCs that are, you know, like characters like Bermati and stuff, so we'll probably see him around a lot. You traveled all the way here from Messeldom? That's quite the roundabout journey. I'm a teensy bit je jealous, mister. Traveling the world sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> Thanks. I may have gotten her used, but she's been a great partner to me. Let's steer away from the topic of cars for a sec. Where have you been all day? We didn't see you when we made our rounds earlier. Did you go wandering off somewhere? Excellent guess. The hills outside the village piqued my interest. So I decided to take a quick hike over there. You took a quick hike all the way out there? I hope you didn't have any run-ins with monsters along the way. Not at all. I've been traveling for some time now. I've acquired something of a sixth sense for danger. As a result, it was an uneventful trip in that regard. I did manage to see something truly wonderful, though. Is that right? There's a large ruin made up of stone pillars, you see. It dates back to the ancient... Zimurian civilization. It's likely from the same age, same age as the ruins of Nord. Interesting. Evidently, a 10 arch tall statue was excavated from the area 20 years ago, too. Sadly, the church got their grimy little hands on it and hasn't been seen since. 
It's such a pity. Taurus would have flocked to this village had it remained. Still, I doubt Krill has any trouble attracting Taurus. I mean, just look at it. It's gorgeous. Um, not to change the subject, but I wanted to ask you something. Did you see anyone else while you are over by the hills? I can't say I did, no. There were no other living beings in sight. Gotcha. Well, thanks anyway. Oh yeah, I should mention that the bus isn't going to be leaving till tomorrow now. So the mayor will provide a roof over my head? How benevolent of him. Free is the best price, and I'm not about to object to his act of charity. Thanks for telling me. No prob. We'll be sticking around here too, so if you need anything, give us a holler. How lovely. I shall keep that in mind. This is the first time I've met someone who calls themselves a bohemian. <laughs> he's certainly an odd one, isn't he? Eh, he knows a good car when he sees one, so he's an alright guy in my book. I see it doesn't take much to get on your good side. Is something the matter, Perry? Oh, it's nothing. I was just thinking. Is it just me or do those hills look like the perfect spot to set up camp? I guess it's possible that Aiden and her crew could be around there. But if they are, they're probably pretty far out. That guy would have spotted them over by the hills otherwise. We can check the area out tomorrow morning. Sun's about to go down, so let's head back to the inn. Okay. Your hunch definitely sounds plausible. We can go over all the information once we're back in our room. Surely there's something that will point us in the right direction. Now we can go check the kids over here, hopefully. Yep. It'll be okay, Annie. I just know Lakshar will find him. He has to. Yeah, I know. I just... Hmm? What's wrong? Are you okay? Nero's gone missing. Who is Nero? Our kitty. He's gray and he has these huge round eyes. Well, we saw him earlier in the day. He went out for a walk, but he ran off somewhere and he hasn't come back. He's always back by now. I hope he didn't get into trouble. I can understand why you're worried. I hope he didn't stray too far. Makes sense he'd want to roam around, but still, the outside ain't so safe anymore. You got any ideas where he might have gone? Um, well, today he was acting really funny. His hair was standing up on his own like he was scared of something. I couldn't get him to relax. We did notice that when we walked by. Yeah, he was really on edge. I don't know why, though. Man, I'm sorry, Annie. I should have listened to you and come back home sooner. It's okay, Ken. It's not your fault. I should have just brought him back inside. So Kitty got spooked and ran off. Is that right? That's interesting. Yeah, can you help us look for Nero, mister? Lakshar is looking, too, but he could really use your help. I want to help them, Van, can we? Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> Take it as a 4 SPG. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm a cynical bastard, but even I don't have the gall to refuse this one. All right, we'll find him for you. Yay, thank you so much. Thank you, nice people. Couldn't refuse this one, huh, Van? This ain't really our kind of job, but I guess I can file it under investigative work. The part about the cat acting weird stuck out to me. I agree, that struck me as odd. So where should we start looking? We should probably find the person who's already out there searching La Lashkar, right? Uh, sorry, I don't know where Lashkar would be looking right now. Well, guess we gotta search for both, then. Okay, we'll look around places where we play a lot. Please be okay, Nero. Don't you worry, kiddo. I always make sure the job's done right. Alright, so I think we'll end things off here. So next time we're gonna handle this request before we head back to the inn for the night and get ready for day two. Uh, it seems like even though our friend Melchior uh, didn't seem to see anybody out that way, we're probably going to search it tomorrow because they could be further out. Um, but first, we got to find a missing cat. Uh, maybe the cat's aggression or fear is related to what's happening with the wolves we saw. So that's going to be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.